Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Chalk the Living. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, just coming to you for a quick weekend video. Just got out of the sun a little while ago and uh, it is hot, hot, hot as hell today. Um, our little relief has disappeared. We haven't gotten any rain here. I think we've only gotten one rain, one quick rain at night since I've gotten back from the city last week. So uh, it's nice to get the vitamin D, but I was kind of getting used to and enjoying those little uh, evening uh, showers. Anyhow, you never know where my uh, video ideas are going to come from. This is a very impromptu one that just sparked when I went out to get my son today. Um, and I was trying to get a video to listen to, as I normally do while I'm in the sun. And I couldn't get one of, I couldn't get Tanny's videos. Um, I'll have to look into that. It said video not available. I checked other people, I watched some other videos and I checked videos from the United States. I checked some, a couple of videos from people I watch in the UK. And I was, I was able to, so it's not me being in Costa Rica, but anyhow, so I had to watch some other stuff. So I popped across a couple of videos, and you know how that happens when you click on a video, like suggestions come up on the side, and they can be random at times, and you can click on them. Well, I got into a subject there, and I was actually a little bit surprised. The original video I clicked on was talking about some kind of drama now. As you guys know, as I've mentioned on here, I'm not in the groups very, any, very much, um, not many groups. Um, I'm not following a lot of channels, and I just don't have a lot of sources, so I guess I don't know what dramas are going on. I know a few of the big ones, and I know the ones that are always going on in the next level scales, but, you know, one thing I noticed this morning when I watched this particular video which led to another video on, uh, because you know, they're kind of uh, have to do with the subject, with keywords. Like if you watch one on drama, it'll kind of get into that uh, thought process and it'll start suggesting different videos of different dramas. They're not connected, but it just made me think back to the whole Woodstock Fruit Festival thing last year after it was going on, or even while it was going on, before it was going on, and even two years ago. It seems like the last two years there have been some dramas. And one thing I noticed, when I started watching these videos, and now today, this is just one of my silly weekend videos, I'll start putting all my conspiracy videos together. I'm not a very big fan. I'm always looking for that. I think uh, media is so biased. I think actually media creates a lot of its content, whereas news and media should be reporting. They actually drive and create the content. And just like in the news where they tell you people, they tell you who you're supposed to dislike, they tell you who you're supposed to have problems with, they tell you who your enemies are, and they tell you where the controversies and dramas out there and they're constantly suggesting um, a drama or a, a controversy which perpetuates that and I think it's the same exact thing that happens in the high carb vegan world I mean people are always talking about these dramas but do you really not see it it's kind of like WWE you know world wrestling entertainment or wrestling as we call where I'm where I come from but it, it's that you know I hope I don't blow it for some people it's scripted it's not real but some people think this this is super real but it's just like these guys they come out here and they put a show on but then behind the scenes they're coordinating all the movements and it's calculated to get the most views to get the most audience and everything is put together. I think so many of these dramas, I got a big feeling that a lot of these dramas, that a lot of people behind the dramas are actually kind of uh, playing with each other because they're like, hey, this drama get, you, gets, gets views for you, gets attention to me, we perpetuate it, we keep it going. So it's just, you know, it's one big, it's just something to think about. These things are created and, um, there's just, it's the same thing. It's just like the media. There's people in our high carb vegan movement. It's like last year with the, with the, the Woodstock Fruit Festival. Here's the thing. Controversy. There's always going to be controversy somewhere, but where it was really looking like it was being used to just for the purpose of stirring up the controversy again, or to get views to a certain person's page because they hadn't done their particular take on it. Even after the controversy had kind of died down, I remember back then people, a few videos popping up about the Woodstock Fruit Festival controversy, and I'm like, okay, you're just trying to get that revived again. You're trying to get something going again. And it wasn't natural. It wasn't that whether you agreed with the original drama has no use in it. It was just that it was like, I could smell a rat that was like trying to, okay, this machine has slowed down. We're not getting any mileage out of it anymore. Let's get it going again. And I think that's what a lot of these are. I mean, a lot of this stuff, and hey, I'm not, not against it. I find the marketing in this uh, social media world, YouTube, fascinating. 
Uh, but a lot of it is just straight out. It's for numbers. It's for views. It's not a pure message. It's not somebody like actually, you know, teaching you something, showing you something, or sharing something with you. It's contrived. I'm, I, I, I believe it fully, but then again, I'm kind of one of those crazy conspiracy theorist people anyway. Um, humans are calculating. I just always look for the motives uh, behind what's going on. And uh, yeah, like I say, um, you know, it's not a big thing in my world. I just, like I say on the weekend, thought I would, uh, pop, would point out what I found because I wasn't able to watch my Tanny Raw video. And yeah, I think a lot of this stuff is contrived. It's put together to stir you up. Um, some of them are really good. They even know how to push buttons. I see little phrases and things and they know how to get the maximum poking the pot, you know, getting everything all uh, excited. So anyhow, just think about that. I mean, it, you know, like I said the other day when I was talking about different YouTube channels, nothing wrong with watching anything. I watch, I have my guilty pleasures. I watch soap operas. I watch novellas down here. I watch a lot of things that most people would go, oh my God, that's the most useless waste of time, whatever. But the difference is, is I always know what I'm watching. I know why I'm watching and I can see through most of what I'm uh, watching. I watch news. People tell me they don't watch news. Well, man, you know, I enjoy that. I understand where they're coming from, but I can see through that stuff. And I kind of it's still just, I don't know, I just always enjoy kind of keeping up. Now, I'm not a daily watcher. It's not, don't get, it's not like I wake up reading news in the morning, watch my noon news, watch my evening news. I catch it every once in a while and I kind of keep up on big world events. But uh, I'm aware of things and I, I generally know, like to know what I'm watching, why I'm watching. Just know your reasons and don't be fooled. Don't be naive. Know that a lot of this stuff is contrived and know that it really has nothing to do with a vegan message, with a high carb plant-based message. Absolutely nothing to do. All about personalities, nothing about substance. Anyhow, just my two cents worth on the crazy weekend video. If you like this one, give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll subscribe to the channel and hope you're having a wonderful weekend. I'm, I'm kind of excited. I'm actually going to share a meal tonight, which I don't normally do with a couple of friends of mine. Um, they're making the salad and I am making um, the coconut curry ginger zoodles. So anyhow, love you guys. Peace.